Hi there, my name is Rance Taylor and this is my video on analyzing Arizona's language development approach. According to Arizona, English language learners are students who are not able to communicate in a fluent manner or be able to learn effectively in English. English language students may come from homes where the predominant spoken language is not English, and this can lead to some struggle in school. This will allow for these students to be given modified instruction so that all the students' needs are met in the aspects of learning. Amongst English language learners, there are different subcategories that some students may fall into. Some of these subcategories are, or also known as instructional program models, are known as bilingual English second language, which is also known as ESL, structured English immersion, as well as sheltered English instruction. Starting off with bilingual students, these are those students that are able to speak two different languages at the same time, and that's how they use them to communicate with each other. A student who is able to speak two languages coherently is considered bilingual. Next, we have ESL, and these are those students who do not speak English as their first language. These students who are just learning English for the first time are considered ESL students, and this allows them to take specific classes in school to help them with their English language learning. Continuing on, we can look at sheltered English instruction. This is a form of instruction that was created to help English language learners to learn English as well as learn academics simultaneously. This form of instruction is used in many different classrooms around the world and it encourages students to, to want to learn and speak English. Interacting with classmates can help encourage the English language learners in the class to want to learn more about the language. Finally, we have structured English immersion. This is when a whole class of students are limited in their academics because of their overall knowledge lack of knowledge, excuse me, in the English language. Within these classrooms, students can be divided into different subcategories or groups, such as pre-emergent, emergent, basic, and intermediate. These SEI classrooms were created to make sure that students were being provided with as much English language instruction as possible in hopes for them to learn more English language themselves. Continuing on, we're gonna look at Arizona's language development approach. And this approach is based on the idea and values of English language learners in the learning community. This approach surrounds the idea of educators promoting the success of their students through different steps. Through this approach, students can develop a sense of agency, more self-confidence, as well as determination. You may be wondering, how do students build this agency amongst themselves? Well, student agency is the motivation and drive to take on their own learning. This allows students to think about what they're learning and hopefully grasp more concepts while they're learning it. As educators, we want our students to know the importance of their own learning, especially amongst our English language learners. Giving constant feedback and encouragement can allow students to build more confidence in their learning. And it, it is important for our students to feel proud of themselves while in the classroom. And we can encourage them to succeed in their learning. Returning back to Arizona's language development approach, we can look at the four principles that go into creating this approach. These are known as asset-based behaviors and expectations, integrated instruction in disciplinary language and content, target and explicit language instruction, as well as assessment, monitoring, and feedback. These four principles make up the approach and it shows educators what they can do in their classroom to help build student agency. To conclude this video, we're going to look at some of the Arizona approved research models and their components. Starting off with the newcomer SEI model, this model is very similar to the SEI model as it includes assessments and clear expectations for all students. Next, we have the two hour SEI model. This model is where students are assessed given specific target instruction that relate to real world scenarios. Teachers can create and decide on the allotted amount of time for this instruction and students will be monitored to track their progress. Next is 50-50 dual language immersion. And this is where 50% of the time the class is being taught in their primary language, and then the other 50% is being taught in the secondary language. And finally, we have the pullout SEI model. This is when students are pulled out of the classroom to work one-on-one -on -one with specialized teachers to go over language development. Thank you all for listening on my video on analyzing Arizona's language development approach, and I hope you learned something new today.